In this tutorial, we'll learn how to automatically save email attachments to Google Drive. We will build a flow that checks all the inbound emails in your Gmail inbox, and if there is at least one attachment, it will save all the attachments from the email in the chosen Google Drive folder. In your dashboard, create a new flow and choose the email arrival as a trigger. You are in the flow designer. Name your flow so you can easily find it in the future when you'll need it. Now let's set up our trigger. Click on the trigger icon in your flow designer and authorize Zenfi to access your Gmail account. Just click on the plus inside the connection field. Now let's stick the if condition to the logic of our process so we can extract only the emails that have the attachments. Just find the action in the list and drag and drop it to the flow. You can rename the action right away, so it's easier to understand what's going on in this process later. Then, click on the gear icon in the if condition action to set it up. For this scenario, we should set our conditions as follows, when attachments count greater than zero. When setting up the condition, you can insert the output data from the trigger. Or just to type in the value. Well done. The if condition is all set up. The next action that we will add to the flow is for each item. It will help us save not only one attachment from the email, but all of them. Quickly rename this action as well and start setting it up. In the collection field, we need to indicate what exact item will be saved in Google Drive. Good job! Let's move to the last action of our flow. In Google Drive section, find the save file action and add it to the flow. Then, authorize Zenfi to access your Google Drive account. In the file payloads field, we need to highlight the output item from the attachment that will be saved in the folder. The smart suggestion will advise you the best option, which is the file content. In the destination folder field, choose a specific folder where you want to save your files. All done. The flow is ready to go. Don't forget to click on the save button. Now, let's run a test flow to make sure everything is set up correctly. Choose a select an email to start option and find the email with the attachments. Such emails will have highlighted green items. In the test session sidebar, you'll see how your flow runs live. Once you see the completed status, it means the test is successful and the files are already in the Google folder. You can close the test mode and publish your flow. From now on, every attachment from the incoming email will be saved to Google Drive. In the Flows tab, you can find the flow we've just created and see all the important information on the flow executions. Also, here you can go back to the flow designer when you need to make changes to your process. Thank you for watching.